father of scuba diving, pioneer of his time, Cousteau discovered what he called the silent world. We discover an environment overcome by color. In a silent world ruled by visual display, color forms a cryptic language we haven't yet understood. Vibrant in dazzling colors and pattern, tropical fish seem to advertise their presence. Surely this isn't the best way to evade predation. What you need to remember is the background against which the fish appears. Um, this is critical to its survival. If you place a boldly striped animal in a boldly striped background, it tends to disappear. Uh, and this is called the principle of disruption, or disruptive camouflage. Marine animals know their colour scheme and the visual system of others. Whether friend, mate or rival, they analyse their world and change position, choosing whether to be flashy or disguised, depending on what they want to say. Fish talk with colour all the time. If you think about a reef situation which is a, a thronging mass of many different coloured fish, they're literally shouting at each other all sorts of different messages all the time. Colour is an integral part of social behaviour, used in clever and complex strategies to pass messages. This is a language of colour, which for the first time ever, we're starting to grasp. And beyond our visual range, marine animals even talk in colours we can't see. Fish may need to see colours that we can't see in order to communicate. They can literally talk to each other using a language that we have no access to. On the reef, there is a lot of ultraviolet light, and it turns out that perhaps half of the reef fish are taking advantage of this and using ultraviolet and ultraviolet reflection as a secret communication channel that the bigger fish can't see. Using an incredible palette of colour to hide or be seen, attract a mate, warn friends, display anger or fear, or mimic a different species. Fish have mastered the art of talking in colour. Reef fish are talking with colour. They're talking to each other in a language that we don't understand, but one for them which is very important. To save this world, we should first learn to listen. And remember, it's a silent world only if we keep our eyes shut. <laughs>